Hey guys, this is Andrew Jordan with Big Picture CPA. In this video, I'm gonna talk about sole proprietorships, LLCs, what they mean, what the difference is. Before I do though, I always have to say, I am a CPA, but this video is not meant to be tax or legal advice. It's just general information. So consult your own advisor. All right, with that being said, let's jump into. LLCs are a state legal concept. So it's something that gives you legal liability protection. So if something bad happens in your business, there's a wall, your LLC, between your people who are trying to sue you and your personal assets. A sole proprietorship, on the other hand, is simply a way of being taxed. If you file a Schedule C, you're a sole owner, you are a sole proprietorship. All right, so since they mean different things, one does not necessarily mean you are the other one. You can be a sole proprietorship and not have elected to be an LLC. You just don't get the LLC liability protection that way. You can also be an LLC and elect to be taxed in a totally different way, not as a sole proprietorship. Or you can be an LLC sole proprietorship. So there's really three options here. Now let's talk for just a second about the options you have when you're an LLC of how you want to choose to be taxed. You can be a sole proprietorship, which is the most common we see for photographers, the second most common we see is an S corporation. This is really valuable as you become more and more profitable as a photographer because it can save you a ton on your taxes. We typically tell people if you are making more than $40,000 profit as um, a photographer and your sole proprietorship, you should look at becoming an S corporation. Another option, which we see rarely, is a partnership. If you've got multiple owners, sometimes they form a partnership as photographers, but not very often and then a C corporation, which is even less common. All right, so that was like a really high level summary of the different types of entities. Again, for photographers, the main two to be aware of are sole proprietorships and S corporations. Now, another thing I wanna to touch on just really briefly is you can be a partnership, an S corporation, or a C corporation, any of those ones we just talked about, you can be one of those without being an LLC. And why on earth would you do that, right? Like this is part of what makes this whole topic confusing to people because you can be an LLC and be treated as an S corporation or you can just be an S corporation. What's the difference? The difference varies a little bit state by state. Some states treat LLCs a little bit differently than they do, say, a true corporation that's not also an LLC. So consult someone about your individual case situation based on your state because there are sometimes differences. But from a legal perspective, there's no legal protection differences between the two um, being an LLC versus being a true corporation. There's no tax differences as far as the federal government's concerned. Sometimes states charge things a little bit differently. So again, check on that. I also want to answer for you if you aren't sure what kind of business you are, which is actually like a really common thing. The best way to tell is by looking at last year's tax return. If you file a Schedule C on your 1040, so it'll say Schedule C at the top, that means you're sole proprietorship. Again, like we talked about earlier, you might or might not be an LLC, but you're definitely a sole proprietorship. If you file a separate tax return for your business, again, you can look at the top of kind of the first page and it'll tell you 1065s are partnerships, 1120s are S corporations, 1120s are C corporations. So you can easily tell what kind of entity you are just by looking at that. In addition to not knowing what type of entity they are, a lot of businesses have trouble keeping track of all those different numbers that are important to their business, like EINs, state tax ID numbers, sales tax ID numbers, etc. So we created a tool, and we're happy to share it with you guys, that just organizes for you all of those important numbers, tells you where to find them, tells you what they should look like, all this good stuff. If you're interested in that, just go to our website, send us a line, tell us that's what you want, and we'll happily send it over to you guys. This is Andrew Jordan with Big Picture CPA. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Take care out there.